Joining us on the broadcast is Major Mohammad Ali Shah. He's a defense expert. Good morning, sir, and thank you so much for joining in on NewsX. Now, of course, U.S. is taking a proactive step with these sanctions. What do you make of this, sir? Well, yes, uh, U.S. has uh, themselves been a victim of terrorism. 9/11, 2001. Everyone, the whole world knows that they had a they suffered a very dastardly attack by Al Qaeda, by Osama bin Laden, which was headed by him. In fact, uh, suicide attack, which is so they know the pain. Now Hamas did uh, an attack, a similar attack, and many people have gone to the extent of saying that it was a, worse than 9/11 of a greater magnitude. In fact, there are more casualties of which were suffered over here. So U.S. knows that pain. So U.S. has definitely they have banned Hamas, and now they had banned Hamas a long time back, and they had declared it a terrorist organization. Now anyone who deals with Hamas, anyone who has ties with Hamas. U.S. will uh, put sanction on them, and I think, uh, rightly so. It does, that's that's perfectly perfectly fine. But uh, the very fact is, U.S. should be very very careful over here. Like for example, U.S. the President Joe Biden was to go to Amman in Jordan, and uh, he was to uh, meet certain leaders over there, global leaders of uh, Arab countries as well. And uh, but then that did not happen. That meeting was cancelled because it was zero time. That Joe Biden decided to go to Israel and to uh, the capital of Tel Aviv, and uh, there, after he, in fact, gave uh, Israel a clean shit on the bombing of that hospital, and he said it was done by an Islamic uh, jihadist uh, rocket, which is fair enough if he uh, gives. But then, at the end of the day, U.S. again has to be very, very careful. They are walking a very tight rope as to not to add fuel to the fire like the way it has happened it's continued to be made to happen in a russia ukraine war so it has to be now the current requirement is of humanity humanitarian aid requires i mean it has to be india sent uh, an aircraft to palestine in fact with uh, a lot of uh, human aid in fact so what is the need of the hour a ceasefire is the need of the hour and because a gun will only bring peace it will never bring peace so uh, most certainly, I think the uh, when the U.S. put sanctions on uh, on uh, people who uh, associate with the, with Hamas, Hamas and Hamas has a large strength of thousands. I don't know, I mean, 30, 40, I don't know how much is the, the strength. I don't know. It is uh, so Hamas is definitely a very very uh, large in uh, population, but this was uh, uh, I would call it a gang. Which was made as a, as a which was which was established by these by the by the Israelis to fight against the Soviets and which was a catapult army I would call it. Now they have learned paragliding and whatnot and high tech rockets and they are operating with all that and they are reaching the borders of a country which was supposed to be known as the high the uh, the most advanced in technology and highly secured and uh, there was a compulsory military training in that. But now all said and done, the bottom line is. I would conclude by saying, no matter what happens, like what happened on 7th October, the Hamas did a terrorist, a dastardly attack on Israel. Similarly, whenever, whoever, irrespective, damages, causes casualties, kills innocent civilians, women, children, elderly, I would still call that as a terrorist attack. And uh, a collateral damage, in a collateral damage, what happens? You can get the target, but okay, accept it. But you cannot, uh, they cannot be over 7,000 casualties. That, I think that Absolutely. is unacceptable. Absolutely, sir. Stay on with us as we reflect on some other news that we're tracking for all our viewers. The Israel Defense Forces told international news organizations that they cannot guarantee the safety of journalists reporting from Gaza. The IDF said that Hamas deliberately places military operations near journalists and civilians. They also said that their airstrikes can damage surrounding buildings and that Hamas rockets can misfire and kill people inside Gaza. Still with us on the broadcast is Major Mohammad Ali Shah. Sir, now, Hamas deliberately targeting places where journalists and civilians are located. What do you make of this, sir? Well, uh, anyone who is uh, deliberately targeting uh, journalists, women, children, civilians, I think it is uh, wrong and condemnation over there would not be enough. There has to be action as well and action has to be whoever is targeting the civilians has to be neutralized immediately because that puts a life at stake. And of course, I mean, I uh, concur with the fact that, you know, you cannot take guarantee of any lives. 
I mean, be it journalist, be it civilian, because Gola Pooch ke nahi girega. Gola girega, bas girega. And people who are doing reporting, my journalists, my hats off to them, my salutes to them, who have gone beyond the call of duty, who have been unmindful of their own personal safety, and who have been covering the entire crisis, the entire uh, violence over there, risking their own lives, taking their neck out. And it, I know it's not easy. So those journalists who are doing that tough job, you are working as hard as a soldier does. So I, I commend you all, in fact. So most certainly, one apni ifalt apne hat mein hai. You cannot rest on somebody giving a guarantee or not, get, no, not giving a guarantee. You have to ultimately look for your own safety in your own means. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely.